Hello, and welcome to another recording for web applications for everybody. In this application, I'm going to talk to you about how to use NGROC to turn in your assignment for one of the auto graded assignments. Now, the idea is, is you're talking to the auto grader, and it's going to talk to this website, and you've built your code, and so you're, you built your code on your computer. Your computer is here, so it's on localhost, something, something, something. You know, and so you can say question mark guess equals 12 right so there you go so your guess is too low but the problem is is that you can't take this URL localhost you can't take that URL and you can't put it into here oops I messed up gotta copy that again copy paste so this server, Web Applications, is going to call localhost. The problem is that localhost doesn't work. Okay, localhost on your computer is in effect firewalled from the rest of the world. So this is not going to work. This is going to blow up, blah, 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 blah. And so it's blowing up terribly. Okay. And so the, the problem is, is that you need to have a real address for this code right here. And that's where NGROC comes in. So we're going to go to ngrok, ngrok.com. Now ngrok is free, and um, basically the idea is that this code's running on your laptop, and your laptop is normally blocked from the world coming in. Your laptop doesn't have a real address, a real domain address, and ngrok makes it temporarily so that your, your code can be viewed. It doesn't move it. It just makes it so it can be viewed. Okay, and so... We're going to install this software on your laptop so that my server can can run and talk to yours just temporarily, and then you'll shut that off. So let's go ahead and download this. I'm going to download the Windows version of NGROC. I'm going to have to go ahead and open that. So now I've got NGROC, and I'm going to put this on my desktop so I can use it from the command line. And then close this window, and then close this window. Okay, so I'm going to use this in the command line, so I'm going to type command. You can actually put this in any folder that you want. I'm just putting it in my desktop. So here I am in my desktop, and if I do a dir, you'll see that ngrok is here. So if I say ngrok HTTP 80, and 80 is the port that you're currently running on. 80 is the default port for a web server. So ngrok will start up, and then ngrok will assign us a temporary address. And so I'm going to grab this temporary address and then copy it, and then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to that address. Okay, and so this is the same as um, this is the same as <clears throat> what's on my computer. So if I take this URL PHP Solutions right here, and I copy that, and I add it to the end of ngrok, see, it is going to go from with a real address now. So what's happened is ngrok has temporarily given you an address. And so now I can take this URL and copy this and go into my auto grader and put it in and now it will run it. And, and you can see while it's running it that, I made that a little too small, you can see while it's running it, there we go, well you can see while it's running it these request response cycles that are going back and forth. Okay, and so that's one of the cool things about NGROC. I can rerun that and you'll see these things go as my server talks to your application. See, it's doing stuff. Now, I mean, it doesn't have certain things, it's got the guess wrong, etc., etc. So this version isn't the right thing. But the idea is, is that you can take something on your local host and then you can export it and get a temporary domain name for the code running on your laptop, and then you can hand that in. And then once you're done with that, once you're all completed, you just come in here and you hook your, deconnect yourself back off the internet. So now nothing can talk to you. And so the, you had this temporary opening uh, for NGROC, and now you just shut it down. Now you'll note, I hit up arrow here and run it again, that every time you connect with NGROC, it will give you a different address. So this one I had, 2A89 something, now it's 80. So, and I'll type Control C because I don't really want to do it. It gives you a different address every time. 
So you'll get used to this. It will be not too tricky after a while. It'll make a lot more sense to you, okay? Hope this has helped. Cheers.